that happens is we see rain moving through a very shallow area of cold air at the surface. So that would be air that's below freezing right at the surface itself. Now the rain that's coming down uh, in a column of warm air would go rain all the way down from the cloud base down to the surface. But here where you have that shallow layer of cold air, it chills the cars, it chills sidewalks, it chills uh, uh, bridges, overpasses uh, down to freezing. And then as the rain hits it, it just freezes upon contact and you get a thin layer of ice. So that's what we're thinking could happen tonight across far northeast Georgia, which could make driving particularly dangerous there, especially on those elevated surfaces that may be colder than the actual uh, ground temperature. So it may be okay for vehicles driving on solid ground, but for folks on elevated surfaces, the air underneath that bridge or overpass, if it's freezing or below, will chill that surface. And then when the rain hits it, it freezes upon contact. And that's common because a lot of times the ground holds the warmth from the day. So it may be above freezing there, even though the air temperature is below freezing. But here where the bridges and overpasses are, if the air is freezing or below, it chills that surface. And as soon as that moisture hits it, it, it forms that thin layer of ice.